Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter and I'm so excited that you purchased this file or you're thinking about purchasing this file because it's such a fun project. We are doing a cake topper with movement. So I'm gonna show you, I, I've sort of built this, it's nothing, because <laughs> we'll easily unbuild it. But I wanna show you so that you kinda get an idea of what is going on. So basically this is a print then cut because I wanted to do a night theme. Um, I'm, I'm going to show you Peter Pan-ish. <laughs> I'm not done designing it, but I wanted to give you some elements of what it would look like if we were building a theme. My ultimate goal, though, is to show you how to build the actual template so that you can put your custom design on top of it, okay? But, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sorry. I have been trying to kick this cough forever. Okay, so... The little time pieces here, it is basically a clock um, on Amazon. You can go and the link is below. Um, so what you do is you put in your battery, right? So I'm gonna put it in here. And as soon as I put it in, this hand starts to move. So it is moving clockwise. So kind of keep that in mind that that's what you're building. In my head, I had wanted you know, like basically I wanted the characters to sit on top and I wanted them to actually go counterclockwise. For whatever reason in my head, I'm seeing them fly this way. But knowing that the clock is rotating this way, I needed to reverse all my images so that they're flying this way. So you can kind of see look, this is an acrylic piece on top. I just put a little sticky, <laughs> a sticky foam tape right now just so that you can see what it would look like when we put down our pieces, okay? So it's going to look like this. Now, I wanna talk about a few things before we get started. Some of the things that are difficult about me picking this theme is the fact that these characters are flying through the night. So when they start to go under and upside down, we obviously need to hide that, right? Because it looks weird. They're not, I mean, I guess technically Peter Pan, Peter Pan could have fun and fly upside down, but that's not the point. And I wanna show you, so there are a couple of crafters right now that are doing it that I'm seeing on Instagram. Sophie's Corner, she's amazing. She did one of a windmill. And so the windmill is rotating. That is much easier. And I'm not saying that the cake top, or the, that her, her piece is easy, not saying that at all, but that design is easier to accomplish because the windmill, you're gonna cut out the windmill and you don't need this acrylic. So the windmill, you can see it all the way around. It makes sense that it's rotating all the way around. So you're not trying to hide the bottom half of this, which is where this comes in. This is gonna hide a lot of it. It's gonna sit in front, um, but you see how like you can still see some of the characters coming down, right? So that's gonna be a struggle. Not really sure how it's gonna come out just yet. <laughs> so that's something in my mind that's playing. But another example is, for instance, I've seen one where they are, it's a Ferris wheel. So the Ferris wheel does rotate all the way around and that is the centerpiece and that would be easier to accomplish because the whole thing is supposed to spin around. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, all right, so let's undo this a little bit so that you can kind of see and then we're gonna start building the the foundation of this cake topper. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out the, um, the battery. Okay, so first thing is, this is the little hand, right? I'm just gonna pop it out. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, so you can stick any hand in there. And so, oh, I kind of bent it a little bit, that's okay. The hand has this little pin right so the pin goes into this little piece right here so i'm gonna flip it to the side once you put it in put the battery in it rotates this is the only sheet that's covering it right now so let me pull that out so basically this is our device you put the battery in it starts to rotate you put your needle in and it's going to rotate it's sitting there's a piece of acetate sitting on top of the needle so that my characters can sit on the acetate and rotate, okay? All right, now that you see that. Okay, so we're gonna keep this going. Um, I don't think it matters at all whether your battery is down here or if you flip it this way and your battery's up here. No matter what, it's rotating the same way. 
you're putting the batteries in. I think I would prefer the battery to be sitting down like this because there are words on here and I wanna be able to see the words. I think that just makes it easiest. Okay, here are a couple pieces that we have. Um, I'm missing some pieces, give me a second. <laughs> Okay, I cut everything. I tried to keep it simple, but apparently I'm missing some pieces. So I'm gonna use this color. But basically I cut everything in a dark gray. The dark gray, cause I'm doing a night theme. But with my template, basically everything is one color. You're gonna split it into two colors or many colors depending on your design. But to keep it simple, what I did was, everything is either dark gray, which are the, the building pieces, and everything that is kind of like shimmer gray is the decorative pieces so you can see these are just the little thin pieces that we're going to put on top of our cake topper just to make it look a little bit fancy now something else that i want you to notice everything is sort of like nestled within each other okay so when you go cut like if you wanted this piece this piece would have to be cut out of right there's going to be a circle that gets cut out right so we're going to use this maybe <laughs> maybe in the back to cover things i don't know i'm keeping that but if you want you see how this and this this little piece comes out you could use this piece as well so i'm basically keeping all these nestled pieces to see how i'm going to use it because that's decorative and that's non-functional okay the functional pieces are right here plus this one because i thought i cut this out in here and for whatever reason it's missing all right so let's start building this little guy i'm going to flip it over this way just so that it sits flat and we can start building it okay so the first piece that goes down is going to be this one when you first put this in this little hole may feel a little tight but it's okay we want it to be tight push it down i do recommend using 85 uh, 80, 85 pound paper and up. So uh, anywhere between 85 and 110, um, I think will be great. So I'm gonna push this down. You see how it, like, it doesn't look like it's gonna go down, but trust me, it will. <laughs> so we are gonna push it all the way down. Now, depending on what's, what your theme is, you may have a print then cut, cut you know, piece on top. This is just on sticker paper, it's thinner, and I'm gonna put this on top here because I want a night theme. And let me, I know there's a glare. So I want a night theme and it's gonna look like this, okay? But in the meantime, let's put this down. I'm gonna flip it over. Right now, I wanna glue this down. I want this stuck to here. I wanna build like stability. So, and I'm gonna pull this up for a second again so that you could see there's nothing going on right here. So what I wanna do is I wanna put hot glue all the way around. I wanna avoid the little open pieces. So um, I've got my hot glue gun going on over here. And I wanna put enough glue down to build, like I said, to build stability, but not to cover up anything and not to get in the way of the mechanism. So I'm gonna push this down. I mean, it's gonna be pretty stable. I mean, lucky I'm holding it like this, and that's before we put in everything, right? I'm gonna put in these dowels. This will hold it up. It will make a difference. Okay, so we've got this down. This little guy right here with the cutout is gonna go behind here to kind of make it look nice and clean, okay? So on here, we can just glue that down but we'll glue that down afterwards okay let's build our piece right now so we've got this going on right okay let's start folding our two tabs so i'm gonna move this aside the tabs basically build a wall right here so that you can have the the moving characters or whatever it is you can have a shaker in here if you wanted to so let's fold all these pieces Anywhere that you see a tab or like um, a cut score line, you wanna fold it, okay? And I put the timepiece in there 
because I wanted you to see it and start to build it. It will be easier to put that piece in after you build your, um, your little mm, wall. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. Um, so, um, like I said, I already glued that on. I wanted to show you what that looks like so that in your head you're building, you're understanding like how it's going to be built. But it will be easier for you because right now it's sitting on here, right? So it will be easier if it was flat, okay? So we're going to push all this down. I'm using really thick paper, I like it. Okay, the two tabs, we're actually going to glue them together and we're gonna glue them together here. We're gonna build our circle first, okay? So let's put this here and excuse my dog. Okay. It's super easy to build and it doesn't need to be perfect. <laughs> I feel like a lot of times my projects, I like it when there's that factor of you don't have to be perfect because it will be hidden or we'll, you know, we'll do something. This is still gonna look nice and neat even when it's not perfect. Okay, so you see how I'm holding the tab? I mean, it's, it's not gonna be seamless. It's too big. And it doesn't matter if it's seamless, but it's gonna feel like a continuous piece with the seam, okay? Because I know I always talk about seams and such. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing with this end. I'm gonna fold that in fold this in and you only want to put glue on the tabs okay because later when we build this like this when we put this down we're going to want to push the tabs to the side so that it's not sticking out like it's not sticking out like uh, can you see it because it's together we're going to push it down to the side okay all right let's put some glue down over here and we're going to basically make our circle it's not going to look like a very good circle though. <laughs> Just to prep you guys in case you're perfectionists, um, it's going to look like a pretty sad circle actually. Now I am using, and this paper is so pretty, it's a shimmery gray, it's thick, so I like it because you can see I'm, you know, I'm just kind of pushing it up against each other and I know it's going to glue together and everything's going to sit nice. Um, nicely <laughs> okay so here's my little circle it's not a good circle right but basically we're gonna do this we're gonna glue it down and it's gonna look like this and I'm gonna put it on its side so you can see it's gonna build us a wall that we can put things inside okay all right so it's gonna be easiest right now while it's still undone I'm gonna put glue down on this tab and push it down so it becomes flush on the inside okay so let's put down a little bit of glue and then push it down. Now the other thing that you're gonna notice in, in these two tabs is that there's a hole for this. That's the hole for the light. If you do not have a light feature, you can easily contour that and fill it up. Um, we will talk about that in the design space portion, so don't worry, but I want to just bring it up so that you can kind of see it. Okay, so then we're also going to do it on this side. We're going to put a little bit of glue down on one side of the tab, and we're going to push the tab down so that it's flushed with our little, um, with our little pathetic circle. <laughs> um, now, if you, for whatever reason, if you're not using the... Um, the light feature but you also don't want to close it out then just make sure that your light feature is at the bottom of your cake topper no one's gonna notice it then but it's so easy to fill up I promise you and you're gonna if you don't use contour right now you're gonna want to learn how to use contour it's so easy so I'm gonna we're gonna fill it up <laughs> okay so now that we're done with these pieces the way that I have built this is so, and we're gonna move, is that you can be really messy when you're building this piece down. So do you see the little teeth? I'm calling these little teeth, right? 
you're basically going to line up just a portion of it right now, okay? So let's see. Um, I'm gonna put this down and this is the top. I'm gonna use the light for my moon. So I want the hole to basically be at about um, the two o'clock between maybe 1.30 ish. <laughs> so I'm gonna start there, okay? So from here, and you know what? This rotates, so it doesn't matter. Let's just get this down, okay? Um, so don't go near the tabs right now, near the seams. It'll just be easier to start somewhere. So I'm gonna start in this little area right here. I'm gonna put down a little bit of glue just to get me started. And I'm gonna bend this. And I'm gonna start my first piece. The first piece is gonna be the hardest part to get started because you feel like you wanna line everything up perfectly and all that good stuff. Don't worry about it. Now we're using the hot glue gun because it will hold it down like it's, and it's fast and it will give us the stability that we want. So you can kind of see I've lined this up on this side, okay? The, there's glue in between the teeth and it's okay because it's gonna be covered up. So I'm gonna continue going all the way around and I'm kind of just like holding it in place. And I'm gonna do about like five teeth at a time. So this is gonna take a little bit. I'm gonna hold it like that so that's ready to go. And I'm just gonna put glue on the inside. I'm gonna flip it over so you can kind of see my glue. And then you can see from here. And I'm just gonna keep going all the way around. I'm gonna follow this line. It should be perfect for your, um, for your circle. So I'm gonna hold it right around here. I don't wanna to go too fast or too far ahead. I just wanna put, you know, I don't, I don't wanna to go too slow. I don't wanna take this for, I don't want this to take forever, but it's not going to. It's gonna be pretty fast. We're gonna let it dry and we're just gonna make our way around. Okay, so here's my first seam. I'm gonna go and the seam is a little bit thicker, so. Let me get my teeth up so that I can get this around. So I kind of want to go slow right around the seams just to make sure that I'm good. So I'm going to hold it down. And put a little bit more glue. I'm, I'm right at the seam. I'm not gluing down the seam just yet. I'm gluing up to the seam. So I just want to make sure that this is where I want it to be because it gets, you'll, you'll see, it gets a little bit heavier right around there because of the seat, the tabs, the tabs that are like glued together. Okay, so I'm just holding it like that. You can see, and it's kind of nice because it's two-toned that you can see the difference of like where it ends. So I'm almost to the edge of that circle. I'm trying to stay to the edge of the circle, but it doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> That's my whole point. Okay. So now that I'm going, you know what? It might be easier to do this side. Let's go and do this side a little bit. And as more of it is glued down, it'll be easier to deal with where we, um, where we glued together the two tabs, okay? So I'm gonna hold it like this and I'm gonna add my glue on the inside. And I went maybe about 10 whole teeth this time because it already has this side glued down, so it's um, it was easier to keep it in place and to make sure it's good. Uh -oh. I think I did too many. It was a little bit harder to keep in place. <laughs> so maybe don't do 10. Don't do 10, 10 was too much. And now I've got glue strings everywhere, but that's okay. I'm glad I made the mistake and not you. And it's still workable. I'm just gonna clean this up once it dries. I mean, crafting takes forever, but we can fix it. <laughs> At least there's that. We can always go back and fix it. So don't worry. And 
This is a complicated project because we're layering so much and everything has to work, right? Like you can't just cover it up and say, oh, you, you know, because it's moving, you've got that element in there that is making it, that just ups the, the, the difficult factor. <laughs> okay, all right, so that's down. Okay, we're gonna keep going around. I'm gonna hit my seam right here. So I kind of hold it and then glue that down right there. So I'm gonna do just a few teeth right now. So I don't, I wanna make sure I'm to the edge and that it's good. So I'm gonna hold it like this just while it's drying. So you can see, this is, it's pretty good, right? I'm gonna flip it over in a second so you can see the back side, but not while it's drying because I don't want it to dry on me while we fl roller flipped over and then I have no chance of, <laughs> of fixing it. I mean, we can fix it, but you know. <laughs> okay, so that's dry. I'm gonna flip this over so you can kind of see it like, and I'll hold it like this. Look, it looks really good, right? And you can see I'm talking and doing this at the same time, that's not the recommended practice, right? I don't even listen to music when I'm crafting. <laughs> I like to concentrate. So when I do the YouTube tutorials, I'm always like, ah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do the other side. I'm gonna add, just do a few teeth right now because I'm still right where the seams are. That little tab of the connect connected pieces. So I'm gonna hold it down like this. And I think the next one that I want to do, I know I love this project, um, even though I haven't done one, like I haven't built one like fully themed, but the next theme that I do want to do is, this is what I have in mind. Um, I'm thinking Snow White and I'm thinking the house, right? So the house is going to be the main piece and it's going to have like an open windowsill up here and maybe at 9, 12, and 3 o'clock. And I'm gonna have the seven dwarfs rotating through. So you'll see them at this window and then another one at this window and another, and I'll keep going. And so the house is going to be like my windmill. Wind mill. <laughs> and it's gonna, so I don't have to worry about covering everything because the house is that top layer and it's gonna cover everything. And then I'll have all the elements around the house, the cute little rabbits, the birds, Snow White in the background, um, kind of layered. And I think that's gonna be much easier than my flying Peter Pan characters that I chose to do for the first one. <laughs> I should probably just switch it over, um, but I'm determined. Okay, we're almost done gluing this down. And you can see this is, besides like actually putting down all our elements for your theme, because you know, that takes forever, right? Depending on how many pieces you've got going on and what you're trying to, you know, build and show, um, this part is going to take the longest. But once this is down, then your foundation is done. And you see, I just did like 15 teeth right there because it's pretty much all in place now. I just wanna hold it to make sure that it's gluing down and touching all the pieces. See, and it, you can see it's, it's a pretty stable, um, almost like a, a wheel of cheese <laughs> and I'll wheel it in a second once we're done gluing. Okay, now I've made my way all the way around. I just wanna make sure that these pieces are, you know, to the edge while it's drying. And I feel really good about this, it looks good. I'm gonna put a little bit more glue down here and I'm gonna push it in a little bit.
and we're almost done with building this. <laughs> this is a long project. I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna wheel this little guy just so that you can kind of see how good it is. Okay, and then I'll lift it up here so you can kind of see, oops, this is popping out a little bit. So I wanna push this in while I can. And I'm actually gonna add a little bit more glue I'm gonna hold it down pretty hard right there. It's just popping out a little bit, but, and it would be okay even if we didn't fix it. But while we can, I'm going to try. Everything else looks pretty darn good. And then I'm gonna get rid of all my glue strings Still moving a little bit. I'm gonna put a little bit more glue down on the inside and just hold it a little bit longer. I've got so much glue on my on my fingers. Gonna check something real quick. All right, I got glue on my on my fingernails. Okay. All right, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna worry about that piece. Okay, so you can kind of see it looks pretty round, right? Over here, it looks pretty good. So you can see it's sticking out a little bit right here. That's okay. Can we push it in a little bit? We could, but I'm, I'm good. Because we're gonna have this piece sitting on top like this. And that's gonna be the same color and it's just gonna look better. But I'm not putting this down just yet because in between here, when we're ready, we're gonna put this down and glue this on top. And this will hold it straight. Okay, all right, let's continue building our little guy. Okay, I'm gonna move the tabs up and out. It's up to you whether you wanna put the tabs down and put something on top like this piece or something else, okay? Or this piece. But right now, I'm gonna put I'm actually gonna put acetate on top to keep any of my big sequins items inside. But before I do that, let's put in our decorative piece, my print and cut of the night sky. Okay. So I'm gonna push this down. So it's gonna look like this, right? Looks pretty right. Um, okay, so my I'm gonna hold this like here. And let me think about this. Well, I'm gonna have Tinkerbell on this side then. <laughs> Cause I forgot to like switch it around before I before I did anything. So this piece, if I wanted to keep this straight down like this, then my light's gonna go in here. So the light is perfect right there. And let me show you what that looks like. You can decide to have a colored piece, which is kind of hard to see there. Right. Um, I'm gonna do, I think, a colored piece because I'm gonna want, I've got the moon. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I 
have Tinkerbell sitting like this. Yeah. Okay. So what you need to do is we put this in, right? I'm going to actually put it down like this and glue it all the way around to make sure that it's stable right here. So I'm going to hold this in place. I should have kept the tab in there so it's not blinding me <laughs> as we're gluing it down. So let me put that back in there for a minute. There. All right, so I've got glue all the way around just to make sure that it's stable. Okay, so that's down. This is our piece right here. Okay. Now, you can put in um I don't know if I want to put down let me see. I'm going to pull this up for a second because I think I'm going to pull off the sticker piece. I think what I'm going to do is, I'm actually, this is our extra piece. I'm going to put this down, tape it to this. So this is a sticker. That way this is a little bit more, um, not as flimsy, because it's going to have card cardstock behind it. But this is the decorative piece, okay? So this is not our building block. I'm going to line this up right here. And I'm gonna trim this off a little bit. Because we've got the glue coming up and we didn't go all the way to the edge in some areas, right? I'm gonna trim this so that it can go down really easily. And you can kind of see I made the cutout smaller so that we wouldn't have... So it's a nice little template. But I will show you how to do that in Design Space. We're just gonna cut around here so that it goes in really easily. I looked over for a second thinking like, oh my gosh, it's not recording. <laughs> We've gone too far in to start over. Okay, here we go. So cut that piece off. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put down glue. Now what you can do is, I do have some like pretty little stars. You could just glue them down so that they stick um, and they're in place and then you can have pieces scattering around. So let me open that up. These are super small pieces, but I love it. Let me see if I can, oh, it's so small. 
Okay. I'm gonna dab a little bit here and there. Oh my gosh. I need to poke my little hole because I always forget to put my little stopper in. pieces. I might even just put this little jeweled piece right here. Oh, it's so pretty. So this is from Buttons Galore and More. So you can kind of see that extra little bead. I know it's really pretty. I'm going to put a few of those all over. It's so stinking pretty. All right. I'll just get a few more pieces down. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Um, yeah, I'm sort of looking to see like what other, what are my other options? These are so pretty and I don't want to necessarily use them all. Okay, here's like a little small. Oop, that's just a confetti tube. Okay, we've got some stars right here. And one more star. Okay, so they're in. I'm going to sprinkle in a little bit. They're so pretty. Throw in some of that. I'm also gonna throw in a few little white stars. So pretty. And then a little bit of this. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do. <laughs> Let's close that up. And close this up. All right, the next thing we need to do is we need to put down this piece, right? We need to figure out what we're doing. So, we don't need this glue or this foam tape. The foam tape was really just for me to kind of get an idea of where everything's going. So we're going to put this little piece down, okay, and then we're also going to put, we're going to glue it down right in the center, okay. So I'm going to use a little glue gun, get a dot on there. And we could put a little decorative piece on there, right in the middle. 
I might just put one of these little jewels down because it's so pretty like that to kind of cover it up. So I'm going to do that. Let's put down a little bit of glue. Okay. So that's what it's gonna look like. We're gonna, okay, so let's, I'm gonna put the battery in so that we can kinda see where everything is going. So. There, so it's starting to move. You can see that hand kinda moving, right? All right, so. Move our teeth out. The pirate ship is going to be outside of this cake topper. Um, so the pieces inside, we're going to put right the acetate. Once we put down our characters, this will seal everything in. So I do want to pop this out. And then let's put our characters down. So it's gonna be like this. Let's turn on our lights so we know what the lights look like. <laughs> Everything's going right now, okay? All right, so we've got a couple different characters. We've got him. That looks good, right? We know Tinkerbell is gonna be sitting up here. So we're not gonna put Tinkerbell down. We've got this little guy right here. And we may have to move Tinkerbell. So let me see, I kinda of want him like directing up. He's flying through. And do we have one more character? Well, yeah, duh, the main character. So we're gonna fit four. I think we're good. I'm gonna remove the, the backing and we're gonna stick them onto and originally I was going to I had an outline for them so I do recommend having an outline but just for the sake of this video I'm not going to okay let me move this a little bit so that we can tape him down So Peter is down. All right, let's see all our pieces. Oh my gosh, so cute. Okay. So cute, right? Okay, let's put, I'm gonna move him like this so I can kind of see what he looks like. Okay. 
we've got our pieces down. So it's going to be sitting like this. So I'm moving all the teeth down because we're going to be putting glue and then we're going to close it up with the acrylic piece. Okay. And it's going to look like this. Okay, so what we can do is we could We could glue this first, okay? So I do want to glue this piece. It's, it'll be easier to glue it while it's out here. So let's grab Burley Art Glue and get this all the way around. guy down just to hide the imperfections on the inside so We can glue this outside piece right now as well. And while we're doing this, we can add like a couple stars here and there. You know, that's gonna be up to you. Let's see where this piece goes. Okay, so we don't need this one, we'll do this one. All right, so let's do the edge of this. So pretty, right? So it's gonna sit like this. Which can you see? Right? It's pretty. It's so pretty. Okay. tempted to put this down and then put our acrylic down just to give it one layer of like solidness <laughs> um, let me think about this I want to make sure that it's as yeah I think I'll do that we'll do this because you can see where it goes right Okay, so what I'm gonna do is on the edges, I'm gonna put down my hot glue gun. Mm. No, I think that will dry, will it dry too fast? I'm gonna do the bottom.
See, then this will go on top like this. So now we've got to lift this up a little bit. And I'm just going to go really fast all the way around. And then just press down. So stinking cute. I'm gonna clean this with <coughs> some alcohol right now, so give me just one second. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna dab it. Let's do this. Pour a little bit out. Get my Q-tip. See where I need to clean it. It's really hard to see because once it goes down, it's going to be harder to clean. So I want to clean it while I can. And then I want to grab <laughs> just getting all my all my lint off. I think I'm good here. Okay, that looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is Let's glue this down really, really well. And then we basically have our, our building blocks down. The rest is gonna be decorative. <laughs> I love it okay so that's pretty much the rest like I said is now you know this is eventually going to be on here covering a lot of the bottom pieces Maybe even like this, so that you can't see the characters as they come down. So you just see them flying through. Maybe something like... So you see Peter Pan coming up. He's flying through. I love it! Then you're going to have the decorative pieces up here. I mean, and then I've got clouds. So I was doing the clouds so that we can kind of like hide everything, right? Like we could have a cloud here. So as they come through, we don't see them anymore. And clouds down here. Um, what else do I have down here? Oh, and I've got an ocean piece. So anyway, I'm going to... Okay, so let's... For now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the rest of the building blocks. Because um, when you cut out this piece, for instance, 
Um, do I still have it? Oh yeah. This little piece that comes out, we can use that to hide your battery if you want. We can just kind of like glue it up here so that the flap comes off, right? We can, um, this is what we can do. Grab a ruler, okay? So this piece can go down like this and it can come up for you to Okay, so right here we can glue this down. Let's put, well first off, let's put our, our little dowels. So here's the thing, with your dowels, I'm probably going to, this isn't for my cake, this is really just for like my tutorial. So what I wanna do is I wanna wrap these in ribbon so it looks pretty. So give me one second. Grabbing my black ribbon, just something I like to do. Okay, let me put this aside. Okay, so put a little bit, if, if this is not a cake topper, because <laughs> I don't know if anybody really wants ribbon on their cake topper or in their cake, but a lot of people don't necessarily put it in the cake or it's that top piece that doesn't get, you know, doesn't get eaten. It's more for like photos. I'm just putting glue and I'm gonna wrap this around. Everything is dark. Okay. Um, every few rolls, I do want to add some glue so that it doesn't get funky and somehow unravel. Okay, I'm going to do just a few more rolls, get to the bottom. A little bit more glue right here. See how it got funky on me. I don't know how that happened. I'm gonna roll this a little bit more, really tight. Put a little bit more glue here. Then I'm going to cut this off. And then glue it in. So I have my black stick here. I'll do another one. And I'm going to show you how I glue it down. And then we're done. All the pieces on top are all decorative. So let's get this going.
it a little bit more glue. Like I said, I don't want it to unravel in the middle. And then, you know, with it being glued to everything, I don't want it to be weird. So just glue in a few places. And then let's cut this. my whole finger in the glue <laughs> okay so we've got our two sticks down I want to make sure that we get a lot of support here so I want to glue on the inside I'm gonna glue right down here <coughs> sorry and this is gonna help me guide it and be pretty straight right okay so let's do this side first And then our last piece is this coming down. Okay, so on this one, I am going to, because it's gonna go all the way down, I'm actually gonna glue my stick, okay? So let's do that now. this little piece up here if we want to then it will cover right so just a little bit of glue Almost perfect. The sticker came off. I should have pressed it down harder. He's literally sitting on Wendy's face. <laughs> but good to know, right? I will take it out and redo that and add it back in. I knew I should have done that. Or if only I could shake him off. But anyway, so cute though, right? So those are our pieces. And then you can glue this down or not because you've got the stick. It looks so good. All right, so that's all I have for you right now. Um, I will have a different, my regular YouTube tutorials to do all the different themes. All right, I hope that was helpful. Hope it was fun and I can't wait to see all that you make. Make sure to tag us, comments, questions, all of that, please. All right, see you guys next time.